Anita Cakes MUA and I'm here to show you how to execute a clean, bold lip only using a few products. It takes a little bit of time and a little bit of effort, but with these tips and tricks, you can get it the way you want it exactly every single time. I must be in the holiday spirit because I feel like rocking a clean, dark lip is great for the holiday season. This would be great for a holiday party, to go out at night, or any time of year, really. You can take it in any direction you want, but using these tips will make sure that you get it exactly the way you want it every single time. So keep watching. So I'm starting off with one of my favorites, baby lips. I love it because it helps moisturize my lips. It's really important that you moisturize before you do a dark lip or any type of lip because whatever your skin looks like underneath the lip product, it's going to reflect outside of the lip product. So you don't want it to look cracky or flaky. So it's really important, especially during the cold season, to keep your lips hydrated. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Mm. I love the way that feels. Mm. Okay, so this is actually another really good tip. Once you do that, you wanna blot it off. So what I'm doing is I'm just kinda blotting it off. I'm not rubbing it all the way off, I'm just taking off the excess. Cause also, your lip pencil that we're about to do next is going to slide around and it's gonna kinda go outside the line. So just like that, step one. Okay, step two, lip liner. Lip liner is really important to achieve that amazing, bold, clean lip. I know a lot of people try to get away without using lip liner, but trust me, it always looks much better when you use it. I'm doing extra dark lips today. I love that look, but you can also do it any colors that you want. I'm using a little bit of a darker lip liner than my lipstick's gonna be. And today I'm using Night Moth Lip Liner. It's made by MAC, it's one of my favorites. So I start out with a really, really sharpened, sharpened edge. You can see that. And I'm actually going to outline, but I'm also going to fill in the inside of my lip. So watch. show you guys that it's important to leave the center of your lip open it's kind of gonna give you like an ombre effect but it's not gonna be too too dramatic um, I also wanted to show you that it's really you know not too important that you make it so perfect because I'm gonna show you some tips on how to get the edges nice and clean so this is kind of what it's supposed to look like yeah it slips around a little bit when you put it on but just keep your hand nice and steady to get a nice line now we're gonna do the lipstick. on now when I press my lips together I don't squeeze them I blot them on so rolling them is important you don't want to really rub your lips together too much because it'll kind of ruin that really pretty nice like outside dark edge and then the lighter inside all right so my next step is 
cleaning up the imperfect lines. <laughs> so I know it looks a little crazy, but we have the color where we want it now. So now we can actually fix it. I am taking my Pro Longwear or whatever concealer you use. I'm using my concealer and a nice 212 brush. This has a really nice like um, flat, straight edge across and that's gonna help keep everything really nice and clean. So now, watch how I clean. Also use a sponge and your Studio Fix powder or whatever powder that you like to use to go around as well. Here we are. This is a nice clean bold lip, kind of like a semi-matte satin finish because of that, um, a little bit of that moisturizer that we put on. Now, this does take a little bit of time. You absolutely want to give yourself time to do a clean bold lip because you don't want to rush through it. It's supposed to be perfected. It's supposed to be pretty. And when you kind of rush through something, sometimes it, you can't get it as best as you can. So take your time, be patient, and you will be able to get a beautiful lip. All right, so you guys can be done right here if you want to, but if you wanna add a little bit of a glossy texture, you can always add a gloss on top. But I'm actually going to add one of my new favorite products on top, the OCC Lip Tar. This color is vintage. Thank you to my beautiful angel friend, Talia, for getting me into OCC lip products. She had a whole bunch one day. I went over to her house and she goes, just take the ones I have extras of. Score! I got this one and every time I wear it, it reminds me of her, so it's really special. Um, I'm going to use Vintage right now to go on top of my Diva and my Night Moth. So I'll just take a little tiny bit on my finger, like literally, like that much is what's gonna, <laughs> literally that much is all you need. So I am going to just dab it right on the center.
And there you have it. A lot of people like to put their finger in their mouth and like go like that to get the lip stuff off. I don't personally like putting my fingers in my mouth because I'm kind of OCD about that. So I'll take a sponge and I'll just get the inside of my mouth like this. So that's it, a clean, bold lip executed just right. You can take this any direction you want. It could be more red, it could be more brown, it could be more wine. Do any color that you want, but as long as you execute it the right way, it'll look clean and professional every single time. So I hope you guys learned something today. Please keep checking back on my channel for more fun videos so I can help you achieve the look that you're looking for this season or any time of year. Thanks so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Bye.